What up? It's your boy Harry Wilmerton and greetings from Bali. Check it out. I'm actually out here way out east, the far east, taking a little vacation here. Um, yeah, guys, I'm actually like traveling. So I have some new videos coming out this week that I recorded before I left home. But I just kind of wanted to do a brief message here. You know, uh, I took this trip here and I love doing travel. I've been to uh, Europe. I've been to Australia. And this is my first time ever being to Asia, right? But, you know, there are a lot of both men and women that I talk to that talk about the fact that they want to do all these various things. And yet, because they're single, they don't do that. They're thinking, man, I don't want to be that person that goes to a concert by themselves or goes to a vacation spot by themselves and is just all alone and is like, you know, because what would that look like? Well, people read off me. And I've never thought that way. Like, whether I've been in a relationship or not, I've always thought, like, if there's things in this life that I want to do and I can afford to do them, then I'm going to make them happen. If I happen to have a person that's able to go with me, that is fantastic. I will have a great time. If I'm not with somebody and I want to go on a trip, that's great, fantastic. I'm going to go and still have a good time. And I can have two different versions of a good time, one with a person and one without a person. But for those guys that don't have somebody, I want to encourage you to continue to keep doing stuff even if you don't currently have a partner. And here's the important reason why. It's because women like men that are out there living their lives and not having it be dependent upon if they have somebody or not, you know, because there's a lot of pressure for women that, that, that think like, man, you know, guys, so many guys come along and think, okay, I know I'm a girlfriend and she's going to be my end all be all. She's going to be the reason for my happiness. She's going to be the reason that I do stuff. Women don't want to be the reason that you suddenly start living your life. They want to be able to see your life, observe it, and then see if they want to join it and come into it. And the only way that they're going to get some sense of if they want to do that is if you're already out there living it, you know? The other thing is this, though, is that you as a guy will add experience and texture to your life and your story when you're out doing things, even if you don't have somebody. So, for example, let's say you're a guy that is like, you know what? Even if I'm not with somebody, I'm going to go have all these wild experiences. I'm going to go rock climbing. I'm going to go to different countries. I'm going to go to concerts. I'm going to do a whole bunch of stuff, right? And then you so happen to like meet somebody one day, whether you're, you know, say you're doing online dating or you're at a networking event or you're at a party with friends and some new woman just happens to walk into the picture, right? And so you guys get to talking and inevitably either she's going to ask you about your life or she's going to want to hear some stories about things that you've been doing in your life, right? Now think about this. If you're not doing anything, you're going to be the guy that talks about, oh, I was just sitting at home. You know, I used to sit at home on a weekday and I just, you know, play my little video games and I walk my dog and, you know, I go to work and I have a little hobbies here and there. But, you know, not, that's basically what I do. You got to ask yourself, is are you promoting the kind of lifestyle that a woman's going to want to come into and see yourself being a part of that journey? But right now, you don't have anything that looks like you're filling up that journey that's going to make her be more interested in you than the next guy. Versus, let's say you've been out doing a bunch of stuff living your life, right? And then you meet a woman and you guys get to talking. She says, so tell me a bit about yourself, what you like to get into. How great is it going to be when you can say something like, well, you know, sometimes I'm at home just chilling. You know, I like to do stuff at home. I like to walk my dog to play games. That's all cool. And then sometimes, you know, I'll have experiences come up that allow me to live life a little bit, you know, like for example, this past week I went to Asia and I got to go to Bali and I got to see some temples and jump over a waterfall and I got to do whatever. And then this one time I went to Australia and I got to, you know, eat a, eat a kangaroo and experience the rainforest and I got to, you know, do some cool rides there. And then, oh, one time I went to the UK and Europe and I got to like see the big Ben clock and, you know, do a whole tour around the country and stuff. And like, as you're telling those stories, right, the woman in front of you, is listening like, oh my God, that sounds so fun. And here's the key guy. The reason that you should not be the guy that's not doing stuff is because there are a majority of women out there that are also like that. They're the woman that's like, you know, they're the one of their friend group that's single and doesn't do a lot of stuff. And so they're typically just staying at home. Maybe they're working. Maybe they occasionally go places here and there, but it's usually within their city and they don't really travel out because they don't want to be that woman that is the third wheel going out on all these other places. And so, you know, I, it might seem a little bit hypocritical to say, well, Harry, why is it that she's a woman if it's, she doesn't do anything that's totally fine? And again, it's because women are looking to jump into your lifestyle. And so 
if her lifestyle isn't all that exciting, she's hoping a guy's gonna come along that's cool, that she can do experiences with. Because think about this, right? Uh, it's not that women can't travel by themselves or that they can't go to Asia or do whatever, right? But there's something to be said for a guy being there just to be able to like lead them a little bit into new experiences. Because, you know, even though new experiences can be scary for you as a guy, it, it can be even scarier for a woman if they're not, if they don't think that they have somebody there that's gonna be able to like walk them through it, to like hold their hand as they go through waterfalls and stuff like that, you know? And so, yeah. so. They're, they're, I, I talk to women across the board that are like, I don't go to concerts by myself. I don't go to places by myself. I, I wish I could just find somebody to go with, you know? And so both of you guys can't be people that just don't do anything. And you being a person that is able to go out there, one, well, you're showing leadership. You're showing that you know how to plan. You're showing that you're willing to get outside the normal bubble of just dinner and a movie as an activity and actually like attempt to plan things that are going to be fun, like on a, on a grand scale. Like this didn't, I, I paid for this over like the span of a whole year. So by the time the day came to travel, it, it didn't really cost a whole lot, you know? And so, yeah, so women like that. They like that you're taking initiative. They like hearing that you're willing to go out there and do stuff. And then you're living your life. And you as a guy going out there living your life is going to be like the best thing for you in terms of you standing out from other guys because yeah she might be talking to another guy that's like taller than you and has more money than you but he could be a boring guy like he could be like a guy that works in finance or a guy that works at like in Silicon Valley but like he comes home at night he's got a lot of money but he's supposed to just sit at home working on computer stuff and then like trying to not really plan a whole lot of activities versus you might not be as tall or, you know, have as much money or whatever, but you look like a fun guy. You know how to plan stuff. You know how to do new adventures that aren't the typical standard thing that she's used to getting from all these guys. So you're going to win out. Like, you're going to win out much more because you're showing that you take initiative and that you like to have fun and that it's not just stuck to your routine day to day. And women find that very, very attractive. So if you're a guy that doesn't currently have somebody, hey, I get it. The journey to get somebody can take a while, but you help yourself immensely when you go out there and experience new things and you travel and you go to concerts and you do other things by yourself. And also, also real talk, when you go into these environments, you're going to also be in the company of other women, many of which are going to be single because there are women that will go and travel by themselves, even though they don't want to. But part of the reason they're doing that is they're hoping maybe on these trips, they'll end up finding somebody that'll also do trips. And so if you're a guy that's doing them already, then you know, you might you, you might be somebody on the trip that you get along with well, and during the course of the trip, you guys are talking and bantering. Next thing you know, she's giving you the number, you guys are talking, you guys are playing more trips together, and it just makes it a lot more beneficial to you and your daily life at large if you put yourself out there more and you put yourself in places where you could potentially meet other people. But also, even if you go on trips and you don't meet people on those trips, you're still adding color and story to your life that is going to be very attractive when you finally do meet women and you start telling them this stuff, okay? So yeah, definitely get out there, travel what you can. I don't care if you gotta do, I, I've done 49 of the 50 states now. I've done a few countries here and there. I'm trying to add more to my repertoire. But yeah, if you can afford it, and it doesn't have to take much to afford. You could be, like I said, you save up month to month to do one trip a year. That is more than enough. That, that's more than most people are going to do. Like, if you're like, you know, once a year, you go to like the Dominican Republic or you even go to like Mexico or Canada. Like those don't seem like big deals. Trust me, there are so many women that have not been to those places. And more importantly, there's so many guys that just don't get out of that bubble that if you just say within the next two years, you did two big trips. You did one to Canada and one to like Mexico or one to Puerto Rico or one to Australia or even one to Hawaii. Even Hawaii is like technically part of the US, but even just say you went to Hawaii, women will, will ears will perk up like, oh, he actually does stuff. And you will make yourself stand out from 97% of the other guys out there. So definitely get to travel on guys. It is definitely worth it. Uh, but yeah, you'll be seeing other videos from me during the course of this week, most likely ones that I recorded before I left here. But suffice to say, guys, get your passport, get your travel game up, and start getting women. So hopefully this video was encouraging to you. Uh, if you guys have anything you want me to talk about on one of these shows, you can write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. You can also go to harrywilmington.com, check out my new program, the Get Girls Academy. It is the academy that houses all of my various programs that are designed to give you a leg up in the dating game and get you the women that you truly want. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys when I catch you because I got vacation to do, all right? I'll check y'all later. Peace.